So now we have the part of review um, where I give you the taste uh, and effects of the kava. Um, I can tell you right now that I've already had a cup as soon as I got home. Um, I have only had an egg burrito this morning, so my stomach was very empty, which is what you want um, if you want to feel the full effects of kava. Um, it's better to have your stomach either empty or the tiniest bit of food. Or, I shouldn't say the tiniest bit of food, just a little bit of food. Maybe like half a banana or a couple crackers or something, but to feel the full effects you definitely want it to be relatively empty. Um, so now I'll give you my impression on the taste, uh, and then I'll immediately tell you about the effects because, like I said, I had one earlier. So, um, the smell is more is more chocolatey. Um, the the taste. Um, It, it reminds me of, um, and not this, not that this is a two-day, but it reminds me of um, Papua New Guinea a little bit. It's uh, grassy. It's not exactly peppery. Um, it's very grassy. Um, it does have a slight peppery note at the end, but I would say it tastes more um, like leafy greens or grass. And then I would um, I would say it has like a middle ground numbing effect. Um, it's not overly numbing, but it's uh, certainly not. It's um, yeah, it's it's middle ground numbing. Um, and the effects um, when I got home and and had that cup, I started noticing the effects of it almost pretty very quickly I, I started noticing the effects almost five minutes after I drank it and um, it started and it's still there um, it started in the back of my head um, and then it started creeping down my neck into my shoulders and then eventually it went all the way down my spine and into the rest of my body but um, the the feeling in in the back of my head felt like a massage it felt like someone was massaging your neck and uh, I had a headache when I came home and this completely dissolved that it, it just took it right away which I knew it was going to um, but yeah it started from the back of my head started creeping down my neck and into my spine and then um, it went throughout my whole body and my whole body feels very relaxed um, this is not I, I would say again this is like a middle ground kava where it wouldn't it would be good for both daytime and nighttime use but especially afternoon use because you're not gonna get knocked out um, but you're you're also not extremely energetic it is just simply very body relaxing and um, the head, you know, the head is very strong. Um, I, I feel it in the back of my neck, and after I have this second cup, I'm pretty sure I'm going to start feeling it behind my eyes even heavier. Um, I know I'll sleep very good tonight, like I do every night. Um, well, every night I drink a bunch of kava. Um, yeah, that's it uh, for Kava Vanaka. Um, head over to their website and order their kavas now because they're great. Um, as far as I can tell, all of their kavas are from Fiji. Um, but yeah, every single one I've tried, and I've tried all three of them, but um, every one I've tried is great, very relaxing, no... Um, no ill side effects from any of these and they're they're very strong like 
I don't feel it the next morning, but I do feel like a bit of a of an afterglow in the morning. And again, these are not two days, these are not ISAs, but they are just very strong nobles. And um, yeah, they're, they're very, very wonderful. Nice Fijian kavas. Um, my personal favorites are Vanuatu's, but that's only because of how strong Vanuatu's are. I don't really care about taste, but Fiji definitely has a better taste in kava than Vanuatu. But um... Yep, that's Kava Cola, signing off.